To balance this equation, let's first add up the atoms on each side of the equation. We have one calcium, and then this oxygen here, this two, applies to the whole OH. So we have two times one, we have two oxygens, and we've got this four right here. So we have four other oxygens. If we add them up, we have a total of six oxygens. Hydrogens, we have two times the one, so we have the two hydrogens, and we have these two right here. That equals four. And then sulfur, we only have one of those. Over on the product side, we have one calcium. And then for oxygens, we have the four here, plus this one. That gives us five. Hydrogens, we have two. And then the sulfur, we just have one. So it's clearly, it's not a balanced equation. Let's try to fix the oxygens. So we have five and we need six. 4 plus 2, that would give us 6. So if we put a coefficient of 2 in front of the H2O, let's see what changes with that. So let's update our oxygens. We still have the 4 right here, plus now we have 1 times the 2. That gives us 2. So we have 6 oxygens. So we solve the oxygens. The hydrogens aren't, aren't balanced, but we still need to apply this 2 here to the whole molecule, not just the oxygen. So two times two, that'll give us the four. So now the hydrogens are balanced, so it just worked out. And that's the balanced equation for calcium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid yields calcium sulfate plus water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.